Last night, me, Alex, and Ilya took some fun brownies, if you know what Ooh, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. You know how it be. Right. Um, and we were being, like, complete idiots, like, in the hot tub. Like, just, like, <laughs> so stupid. Like, we weren't making any sense. Like, it, like none of it was funny yeah. if you weren't high. Yeah. Right? Like, none of it made sense. Nothing was, like, nothing was even understandable. And then John comes in. And he starts talking to us. He's sitting outside of the hot tub. After like 40 minutes of talking to us, he asks us a question and he goes, I wonder if you're dating a supermodel and she has four bikinis, um, oh do, does, does, do you get tired of that? And we were just like, what, what the fuck is this guy saying? And we we're like, because that made no sense. Later, we found out that he meant like, if you're dating a supermodel, do you still get turned on when you see her in the bedroom? Because she's always like looking hot on the runway and stuff. That was his like original question. Another 30 minutes goes by of like talking to John. John, and John's making less and less fucking sense to us. <laughs> like, like it's like really bizarre. And, and, then, and then Ilya goes, Ilya goes, John, are we high or are you high? And John, and John goes, you guys are high. Oh my god! <laughs> and, and, and it was the funniest thing because John had no fucking idea we were high. And this entire time, like we've sort of been on the same wavelength. It's really crazy. Like there's very few people that like when you get high, you're on the same wavelength as them. And John is completely sober. But, like, he, was, he was finally able to communicate with us. Um, and John was really scared because he came in. He came into the house late. And um, he was with a girl. Oh, my God. Uh, this is so funny. He was with oh a girl. And I don't know why, but, like, he, like, if he's going to kiss a girl, he, like, will do it in his car. Like, he won't go to his, like, house or his room or anything for some reason. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, I told you. I was getting dropped off because my car was here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry. His car, whatever. His car was here. So the girl pulls up. Oh he pulls up. Yes. Or, and then they both go into his car. <laughs> and, they're, and they're, like, kissing. And then John was telling us, John, well, let me just backtrack a little bit. John, John walks in and John goes, I fucking hate your security, dude. <laughs> <laughs> And I go, what happened? And he goes, well, I'm sitting there with this girl. <laughs> and he comes up and he like shines his flashlight. <laughs> My security guard shines his flashlight into John's car window. And it's like so funny because like, you know, like knowing John, like he's so panicky and he's so yeah. skittish. Like Ilya, Ilya was making a joke that like the security guard shines the flashlight in and John just puts his hands up like, <laughs> like he's doing something wrong. Uh, what happened? What was going on? What, was, what went through your head when you saw the flashlight? And what were you doing? What was, like, what was like your hand on her thigh? Were you kissing her? What was going on? <laughs> my hand was everywhere. Let's just say that. Oh, my oh Lord. Lord. John. But then, like, I, I was, like, I was just so focused. And then... <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while since you've been late, huh? <laughs> I was so focused. Come on, John, you can do this. Come on, John, you need this. <laughs> Hand placement, left, right, up, down. Okay, so what was going on? Yeah, so I was just, okay, like I said, we were just making out in the car, and then, you know, Jimmy. Was, yeah. We'll just call him Jimmy for now, but fucking he, Jimmy, he is Jimmy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> We could call him Jimmy. We could call him that for now, and we can always call him that because that's his name. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Jimmy, fucking Jimmy, Jimmy. And then like first he didn't know I was. I was like I said, hey Jimmy. All right. You know. I, you know how I go in because he does. He the the lights are too uh why too bright. Not, why is he not speaking English? Like this is how it was when we were high, oh Natalie. God. This is how it was, and it was freaking us out because we we're like, holy shit, John, did you have like the entire batter of brownies? <laughs> I'm here, John. I'm listening. All right, okay, go, thank go, you. Go. Thank you. So. Yeah, so we we get in. He he opens the gate for us, you know. So we're, we're, we just pull up all the way, and then like like I said, I don't know, like like literally like we were in the car for like at least like twenty minutes, you know. Right. Because we were saying goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> yeah. uh, Wait, in the driveway or out on the street? No, in the driveway. Like oh, in the he inside. Came to shine the flashlight in the driveway in the car. Yes, like like oh, literally what? Wow. Literally okay. like like we were twenty minutes in, and then and then he like. Like, he thought, I guess we were, like, the Uber or something. Like, I thought he was just dropping us off. And that's why he started questioning, like, oh, why haven't this car left yet? Oh, he thought you were getting dropped off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought that was the Uber. That's why he, he, I guess, he came in. But it was, like, 20 minutes in, and my mind wasn't Wait, whose there. car was it? Yours or hers? Hers. Oh, okay. So yeah. you were in her passenger seat. Yeah. So he was coming to check in on you. Yes. To see if you were okay. Oh, Yeah, and then, God. like, it was like, it was like, like, why hasn't this car left yet? That, I guess. I, that, that, right. It has go, this, it, has that this I'm Uber, thinking about it now. Has this Uber driver murdered David's friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, I was focused, and then she was just, like, 
she was like she was like started like pu- like putting my hand like away from her and i i was like i was like wait does she not like me so then i started like panicking a little bit and then <laughs> And I see fucking Jimmy right there, like on the on the on the driver's side mirror. I was like, I was like, and she was like telling me stop, 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 stop. And, and then oh, Jimmy you, like knocks on the because on the he was glass. slowly creeping up. Yeah, yeah, he was slowly creeping up with this fucking flashlight too, like on, like you know, like I didn't, I didn't notice the entire time. Like I had no idea. And what did you say? Did you, what happened? Were you just like, did you just? And then said, Jason? just Ilya fucking came in with his protein. <laughs> <laughs> Ilya, bro, why you gotta do that? <laughs> You can't have food in the fucking kitchen, bro. Why aren't you eat in the kitchen? I want to listen to you guys. When did you get here? Listen to tomorrow. You guys are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Captain what, Protein. So what, what happened? What did, what did the girl, or what did he say when he knocked on the window? What did you say? <laughs> I said, Jimmy, it's just me. And but I, I couldn't figure out his name. Like, who the fuck are like, you? I couldn't figure out his name. What, Jason? He's like, who the fuck are you? Jimmy, <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. I don't fucking know you. <laughs> You're not on the list. <laughs> not on the list. And uh, then what did he say? And then, well, I, I haven't said his name this entire time. I just call him security. Like, it blanked out. Like, I just blanked out. And then it's just like, and then, like, he made us, like, roll the window down. And then it said, Oh, it's just you. Oh, I was like, yeah, it's just me. And it's just like, next time, just say, just holler, hey, Jimmy, it's me. So now I know, but like. Oh, you didn't know his name, so you didn't want to give him the heads up that you yeah, didn't know how to say his name. He's yeah. going bonkers out there, that security guard. I've had several conversations with him. Is he? Well, what, yeah, he's going a little nuts Why? out there. He told me the other night, he's like, it's tough out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one who talks to him. None of you guys talk to him. Well, every time I come in, I'm like, hello, how are you? Like, yeah. and We have like a 10-second conversation every time. He, he yes. definitely has a complaint. What? It was like, you guys aren't giving him enough information. Wait, why are you putting the mic in my phone? <laughs> well, you run the ship here. Wait, what do you mean not giving him? Yeah, yeah. You just haven't talked in a while. Oh. Uh. Wait, what are we not giving him? He's just like, I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know who's coming in, who's coming and going. I don't know who's the killer, who's the murderer. Jimmy's also like been seen some shit. So every time I talk to him, he presents like worst case scenario to me. Oh and I think because like we're the same age, he feels like he can talk to me, yeah. which I love it. I like him a lot. Yeah. And I do like talking to the security guard, but he'll he'll be like, I I would hate for a bunch of guys to come in and just, you know, rob David and kill him. You know, I would hate for that to happen. He so, says that? Yeah, like he goes to the worst place because he sees bad shit. Yeah, but what does he want me to do? Like just tell him who's coming in, who's coming yeah, out? Yeah, that's all. Okay. I just want you to communicate. Like maybe say like, this is my buddy John. He's trying to get laid. Leave him alone. <laughs> You know, like just say that. Okay, I will. You know, no, he's he's really interesting. He's, he's a great guy. Yeah, he's great. And he like, wants to just do his have job. Have you noticed better. how he like sets up shop outside of the house? No, what does he do? I like, love it. I love he's it. He's not like he's. It's not like he's just like sitting there. Like he like pulls out the lawn chair. He has like a blanket. He has like a little ham radio thing that he's got going on. He's like a nightlight. Really? And then he has like his Gatorade, his water, his Red Bull. <laughs> We're done. Um, and then he has in his trunk he has M16s, an RPG. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean. He's He's pretty fucking. No, he doesn't. He's ready. Yeah. No, he doesn't. I mean, he's seen some shit. I yeah. don't know when you would need an RPG in this neighborhood. <laughs> like, what would be coming up the hill? No, he doesn't have an RPG. But just like fucking imagine. Right. Um, <laughs> it shoots, shoots John's car. John's in the driveway. Uses the RPG. Pulls up the car. Yo, it was my friend. He was just trying to get laid. Why are you guys? Why you guys shoot my friend with the RPG? You guys gotta give me more information. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but no, he's uh, he, he's he's good. He's okay. Um, he, he's doing a good job. Sorry, John. Sorry, you had to go yeah. through that. Well, did you seal the deal or what happened? What's the end of the story with the girl? Oh yeah, what happened? She hooked up with Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like John. Jimmy. It's you. Oh, like, who are nice. you, beautiful girl? <laughs> No, nothing happened after that. It was just like it killed the mood so fast. And I was just like, Man. this is a girl he's been seeing a little bit. So he's like taking it slow. Yeah. Sure. So yes. th- actually, honestly, Jimmy probably helped you out because it's just probably a fun story. Yeah. Those awkward encounters are always like really helpful. Hell no. <laughs> it did Dude, not no help way. at all. No, no way. I feel like John's also not good in awkward situations. I'm John, so yeah. bad. John just doubles down and just like <laughs> John just goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know why he did that. He's I don't not know good in comfortable did. situations. Um, um, but yeah. All right. Wait, one more well, one more John story, which I thought was really funny. Was yeah. um Joe lives with Alex and John, right? Yeah. And Joe wants to uh Joe asked them to leave so he could have his own place. Yeah. yeah. Right? 
And so this was kind of coming for a while. We <laughs> Joe kind of said it to me. And then Joe told Alex, yeah. right? And Alex was like, okay, cool, yeah, we'll find our own place. And then like a couple of days go by and everybody knows but John. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah right? That was so funny. why, I don't know why you guys aren't, Ilya, you're guilty in this. David, you're guilty yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. why isn't anyone telling John? Well, it was really funny because we were, we were by the ping pong table and we were moving oh, my lights. God. Yeah. yeah we were, we were, oh, yeah, we were moving lights. John was helping me and Ilya move lights. <laughs> And I was, I, I was like, it's a huge light. David wants to light up his house for Christmas. It is a giant light, like that's twenty feet tall, weighs four hundred pounds. It literally weighs so much. And yeah. he's having Ilya and John move it, and Dave's directing like where he wants it to go, <laughs> so he can get it the absolute like perfect light on his house. And we're just like talking about like other houses, and I'm like, Ilya, it'll be sick when you guys move into a place. You guys can light up your own house. Yeah. And John, John goes. What? <laughs> no, no. John goes. We're moving in with the hell yeah. <laughs> no. What did you say? No, I was like, I was like, whose motorcycle is that out there? I was oh. like, I was like, oh, that that motorcycle is so cool. And then and then Ilya was like, it's Joe's. Do you want it? I'm like, yeah, oh, that'd be really cool, but I don't have the space for it. And then Ilya goes, oh, you'll have space in our garage. <laughs> <laughs> so and then, he, and then I just go what like like, like literally just like what do you, what do you mean? I saw the whole thing and Ilya's holding this really heavy thing and, and, and John's this holding time this really I'm holding thing. this this thing and we're just like we're just having small talk and then he just drops this fucking bomb on me. I'm like what what do you mean? What do you mean? And Ilya's like Ilya just goes don't worry about it, John. Don't think about it. Don't worry literally, about it. Don't worry about it. You're, just, you're gonna be living with me now, John. You're gonna be living with me now. And John's like what? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? I have to move out. What do you mean? Wait, he's holding this thing. It's so heavy. He's like, John, don't worry about it. Just move the light. Just move the light. It's so crazy. You yeah. guys can't. You guys talk to him yeah. like he's like he's a child. He's, <laughs> he's like a human being. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Treat him like a human being. He should have known this. when you told Alex. Alex is a normal dude. Alex took the news fine. You would have taken the news fine. Why, did, yeah. why did you not tell John? Because when, we didn't know. Alex told us. But why didn't Joe tell John too? It's Joe's fault. I thought Joe had a conversation with both of them, but Joe just called Alex, and Alex literally called us immediately. So Joe was like, "Hey, Alex, like I, I kind of want my own place. Is it cool if you guys move out?" And Alex is like, "Yeah, it's totally fine." And Alex calls Ilya immediately <laughs> oh after God. Joe leaves his house, and Alex is like, "Yo, we gotta move out of Joe's. We need a new place." And and then that's the exact time Joe is entering my house, and I turn to Joe and I go, "Joe, what the fuck? You kicking out the boys?" And he goes, "I just told them three minutes ago." <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Communication is important. Whether yes. it's with a security guard, Joe, or, or anybody else. We'll work on it, John. Yeah, but is this my fault? What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> is what your fault? <laughs> no. Is what your fault? Like, like, like not knowing? Like, I don't know. I, I no, mean, how would it be your fault for not knowing? <laughs> I don't what fucking know. What are you know? saying? No. I don't know. It's not your fault. <laughs> They're the ones that should have told you. Right, how it, could it be your fault? You're, you're supposed to be a psychic? Jason, yeah. It's, Jason doesn't like John now. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> you're just backing him up. You know, Jason's in the same boat as us. Jason's like, you're right. You can't tell this guy anything. <laughs> Even when he doesn't know, he thinks he's wrong. <laughs> is it, is it, now I see what you mean. Yeah, it's wrong. All right, guys. That's all the time we have for today's podcast. Oh thank God. you guys for listening. Um, thank you, Jimmy, the security guard, for keeping us safe. And I hope I see you guys around. Um, go follow us on all social medias. Go buy the perfume. Go buy Jason's uh, whatever he sells. What do you sell? Uh, farts in my jar. In go jar. go <laughs> sell <laughs> Jason's uh, jar farts. And we'll see you guys soon. My name is Jeff. <laughs> Did